packing up. Finish yet another video for you guys. Actually, technically two videos. Um, now I'm gonna go get my boba tea. Buns out, buns out. Just kidding, there's no buns out this one. Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Made in England New Balance 991 collab done with Slam Jam. Let's take a sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe right now, as well as give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have any comments or questions at the end of the video, be sure to leave those down below, as well as hit that notification bell, because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on, as well as check out those membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there for our members, as well as an amazing merch store. So as mentioned earlier, I am so beyond stoked. As you guys know, this week, this was my go-to shoe and I was able to manage to cop a pair. And this is the Made in England New Balance 991 collab that was done with Slam Jam. So I am so excited to talk about this shoe just based upon the fact that it was extremely hard to get and very exclusive. The resale price point on these bad boys are insane. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around and tune into that at the end of the episode. So if you guys are sleeping on New Balance, let me tell you something, these shoes are going for crazy amounts in comparison to other brands currently. And they are just, New Balance is doing a great job just doing these crazy good collabs. So definitely stay around for that as well as talking about how these uh, fit after the overview. We're gonna jump into the, the fit and sizing of these as well as the styling. This was definitely a colorway that they made to be very versatile and wearable. So they did a great job with the color combo on this. All right, let's jump into this overview. This shoe is crazy because when I was actually wearing it outside, it was changing into so many different color variations depending on where the light actually was hitting it. So I feel like the way that this shoe is gonna look in this indoor lighting is actually gonna vary completely differently. But I feel like Slam Jam just really did such a tasteful job of really reworking the materials on this specific silhouette. So again, this is the 991. We have not done the silhouette before on the channel. So I'm very excited just to be in the 991 series because this is an extraordinarily comfortable shoe. And we've got just basically some ripstop nylon for the upper base here. And then we've got some nice reflective materials that they've added on here, combining some durable luxe pigskin leather, which is actually the type of leather that you would find on a football. You can just feel how absolutely durable this is. So as we work our way up here, you'll notice that we've got that nice little New Balance tag there on the top of that lace. Working our way up, we've got just some nice, genuine suede. New Balance just kills it on the suede game. Let me tell you, this is some prime quality leather in that nice charcoal color scheme. These laces are also a dual tone, so it's definitely got a metallic silver and a darker charcoal gray look to it. And the lace tips say, slam jam on the tips, which is just a nice little subtle detail, which you can tell how much time and 
uh, energy they really put into, you know, slight details on the shoe. Then we've got the nice reflective New Balance 991 on the top of the tongue there, again, with some more metallic reflective details. You guys could probably see that reflecting off the light. So let's just take a closer look at those materials. other lace options so they also offer a black or a red lace uh i am missing my black lace guys sorry i don't know where it is it was supposed to be in this box but instead we do have this gray option in the red but i do actually just love the gray laces just because as you can see the lace tips on this do not have that really cool slam jam logo and i really think that that just adds a nice kind of accessory to the shoe so definitely going to stick with these shoes i'm not going to be switching it up though i do applaud them for giving us those different lace options so as far as the color scheme goes you guys will notice that this is a black and gray color scheme and that's actually slam jam's signature color scheme so it makes sense that they added this also slam jam recently did a collab with new balance on the 990 which makes sense that this is the 991 because that was basically a very ultra limited shoe there were only 89 pairs this was launched in 2019 and it was dubbed the unfinished so it makes sense that it actually paved the way for this shoe and also this is made in england as you guys know made in usa is like top tier grade quality when it comes to materials so they did not slack off in that realm as well when these were made in england uh so just definitely some more of the nice sway going on as we move around more of that quality uh mash that we've got mixtures of the black and the gray tone and again some nice metallic ends that are definitely a nice highlight as we make our way to the back some nice embroidered 991 and again some of that pig skin leather material and this has definitely got some weatherproof materials on it so they really kept in mind that this was going to be a very wearable shoe they wanted it for the everyday kind of wear and tear as well as weather and i'm always struggling to find shoes that are great when it's raining outside so i'm excited to add this to my sneaker collection so when it is raining i feel like this shoe is definitely going to be safe and very difficult to actually get dirty which is quite cool so we've got a rubber outsole and we've got the absorb midsole which is quite comfortable it's in a nice charcoal and light gray color scheme and the outsole is just a nice simple black colorway looking on the insole we've got a metallic insole that kind of sparkles in silver with slam jam and the new balance dual branding so let's take a quick and final look at all of the amazing materials and details on this shoe
about size and fit. So for the 991, since this was my first 991, I just wanted to stick true to size and I'm very happy that I did that because these fit me to a T. New Balance always does such a great job when it comes to somebody like me who has very high arches because they give you just really great high quality arch support. So definitely you can see that inside of here and I can definitely obviously feel it when I put the sneakers on. Uh, but I would say if you have narrow high arch feet, stick true to size. Again, if you do have flat wider feet, it will probably be differential for what shoe size will work best for you. All right, so now let's move into styling. I had so much fun styling these just based upon the fact that this is the easiest color to work with. And as you guys know, I love me some black and sometimes dark grays. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. So this is like, if anything, the theme. I know that everybody is so excited for some Air Jordan ones this weekend, the shadows, but I'm absolutely happy with this specific color scheme. It's actually the same, but like the quality, you just can't beat it. You really just can't. Um, so let's start off with the first look. So I paired this with this nice, just simple colored sweater in this charcoal gray, which I think worked perfectly with a nice, just simple leather black belt. And I wore some light denim jeans. And I think the light denim in this charcoal gray just really mesh quite well for just a simple, cool, casual look. I'm running the race. I got to pick up the pace. They throw in shape, but I'm gone. You got to keep it up, bucks in my face. Taking the gang out of space. It's best if you stay in your place. They ain't on all of my songs. Uh, I don't know what can I say. They throw me shots, but I'm saved by his grace. That is the shoot on the lace. Running around, got me stoned. Man, feels like I'm stuck in the maze. Shoot at the Oculus of case. They sipping only nine sakes. I can do it on my own. Yeah, they judging me off my mistakes. This floor is so heavenly. Most of my friends and a friend of me. They trying to bring out the beast. I'm batting a thousand. My game is elite. I'm running around in the streets. They trying to catch up, but they still can't compete. For the second look, I decided to actually dress it up a little bit because I love New Balances. I feel like seeing them on the runway in previous years, you can definitely tell that these are shoes that are meant to be really played with in different ways. So I definitely wanted to bring some different textures in with a rag and bone uh, long sleeve dress. So that was just nice silky textures and the black sheen really just plays so well with the metallics that shine off of this shoe. Count it up, all the brothers came through, then we added up. They was asking me questions, I had it up. I've been running with God, I just leveled up. They won't speak to my face, got that on the door. They've been putting me on like I'm one of those. I can see why they hate, that just ain't me. Tell me a place that I can't go. I don't think they get it, they don't understand. I'm gonna do it for my homies and my fans. They don't see the vision, they just see the band. Eyes on the money like a rubber band. That is number one, I follow his command. You can try it, you won't get a chance. I'm gonna keep on going till I can. And I buy them by his plan. They tryna hit me, I'm running the race. I gotta pick up the pace. They throw in shape, but I'm gone. You gotta keep it up, bucks in my face. Taking that gang out of space. It's best if you stay in your place. They hate on all of my songs. Uh, I don't know what can I can say. They throw in shots, but I'm saved by his grace. The last and final look, I know you guys who are Supreme fans are gonna love this one probably the most, but I decided to incorporate my Anorak coat that I got in white and silver just because of the silver reflection you have going on these shoes. It matched that jacket to a T. And I just wore some nice, simple gray champion reverse weave sweatpants from Culture Kings. If you guys are in need of some amazing sweatpants, be sure to check my links down below. I will have them, but these sweatpants are so insanely comfortable and they just worked so well with this color scheme. That is a shoot on the lace. Running around got me stoned, man. Feels like I'm stuck in the maze. Shoot at the Oculus of Cage. They sipping only nine sakes. I can do it on my own, yeah. They judging me off my mistakes. Silver step into the play, you bet I'ma hit it. What I'm doing in this game, I did in a scrimmage. Rappers wanting all this beef and burning up bridges. They done a dinner with pain, they just wanna admit it. Won't stop till I get it. it speed it up when I'm winning. It's silver and under fun, um, period. No sin. They tryna give me the fit. And I'ma say Jesus and risk. Get treasure in heaven, generation. What I'ma pass the baton on my jits. Uh, had to make sacrifices for this. I can fake, had to cut off some friends. Vision lay ever since the beginning. Go get the bad damn, bring it. Alright, you guys, so you let me know what was your favorite look out of three down below.
keeping it moving. We breaking down on the walls. The bigger they are, then the harder they fall. This is the part where we rage. They let me out of the cage. Level up on every stage. This is why they be afraid. I see your back to the wall. You stalling. You don't know where to decide. I'm hearing destiny calling on, so I gotta put it in drive. I'm just enjoying the ride. They want me dead or alive. I see the fear in their eyes, so you better move to the side. Full speed up ahead of me. Slow down, what they telling me? I hit the clutch till it breaks. Just tryna see what it could take. I'm on the way. I got what it takes. I got what it takes. You better get out the way. You better get out the way. I got what it takes. I got what it takes. You better get out the way. You better get out the way. I'm on a mission. We in a whole new dimension. Huh? Get out of my business. I don't need no more permission. Huh? Oh, they got offended. Hold on, it's just the beginning. I push it up to the limit. We just be focused on winning. You hear the beat of the drum? Just get out the way when we come. Broken glass, broken bottles. Remember we was at the bottom. Now we repping full throttle. There's nothing you can do about it. I got what it takes. I got what it takes. You better get out the way. Now let's jump into resale. These retailed at $250. I know. Sounds like a high price point, but the quality is A1. And currently these are going for a whopping $380 to $800. You heard that right. $800. So if you slept on these, just read my lips right now. Don't sleep on these New Balance clubs. They are killing the game. They are really paving the way and retaining value. So depending on obviously what shoe size you are, these are going for a steep price point. Said this with the Jowns, those were going for a whopping seven to $800, which was also crazy, but it also makes sense as to why these are doing so well on the resale market. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit me in the comments down below if you have any questions on this unboxing and review. Also, hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on, as well as check out our merch store, you guys. We've got great items on there that you will absolutely fall in love with, as well as be sure to check out that join button. We've got lots of membership perks on there. All right, until next time, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next episode.